Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this channel called The Supreme Concept and today is our 14th day, we have already covered 13 classes there so if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, you can check them out through the playlist named Common Errors from Kiran Sartwaj so we are actually running 1200 plus questions from the book Kiran Sartwaj so let us begin this class first yeah, we have already covered 190 five questions in our previous classes so we will continue with question number 196 okay and we will continue this series up to 1200 plus questions so this question says he works as if the earth belongs to him now figure out where exactly the error lies in this question yes absolutely error lies in part number three so we will not use belongs here instead of belongs we will use belonged b e l o n g e d okay that is past form of belong because use of as if shows that uh, you know it indicates uh, an imaginary situation or a situation that may not be uh, true uh, but is likely to be possible okay so after as if we always use you know past so the verb should be uh, in past tense that is why we will use belonged the clerk was not intimidated by his boss bullying so find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes yeah this sentence is absolutely error free there is no error in this sentence so here intimidated intimidated means to frighten or to feel with fear okay to frighten and uh, then we have bullying it means uh, to treat in an overbearing or intimidating manner to treat in an uh, intimidating manner again intimidating means which is you know to frighten or, or feel with fear to treat in a fearful manner to uh, try to frighten somebody okay? So this is totally correct. There is no error in this sentence. This misogynist hates all mother-in-laws, lady doctors, and the housemates. So find out where exactly the error lies in this question. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Error lies in part number two. So it should be mothers-in-law. Okay. Mothers-in-law, not laws. mothers in law to make it plural plural we need to add s you know we need to uh, make mother plural not laws so this would be our correct uh, usage here okay how to solve the problems is the main concern of the organizers at the moment so find out where exactly they are in this question yeah Yes, error lies in part number one. So, no need to use definite article though here. We can simply use how to solve problems. Okay, how to solve problems um, will be the correct usage here because uh, the definite article is not used before plural countable nouns. Okay, so, you know, unless we talk about something specific. So, let us move. Question number 200. We requested the watchman to clean off the basement so that the children might have enough space to play. Now figure out where exactly the error lies in this sentence. Yes. Yeah, error lies in part number again. So we will use you no know, ordered, asked. Ordered or we can say you no know, asked. 
we are not requesting watchman okay so we will order what the er ed ordered or simply we can ask them okay we can ask him watchman single so yeah we uh, ordered or asked the watchman to clean up the basement sure it will be our correct uses okay because the sentence is indicating an order that is why we will use this either order or asked not requested Question number 201. Last night I dream uh, I was a sheikh on the 169th floor of Burj Khalifa. So find out where exactly the uh, error lies in this question. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Again, error lies in part number one. So we will use dreamed here. D R E A M T dreamed okay because the sentence is indicating a past event okay I was a seek so we will use past form of dream there is dreamed question number 202 as soon as the lion saw the deer he began to run after it now find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes yeah there is no error this sentence is totally you know absolutely error free question number 203 the police asked us about our movements on a night of the crime so find out where exactly they are in this question yeah you are absolutely correct in part number three so here we will use the you know, instead of a night blues the that is definite the police asked us about our movement on the night of crime that means here the night of crime night of crime is that time that night where you know when the crime happened so it is a specific thing definite thing so we we basically use definite article the here okay question number 204 did he tell you why he hasn't come yesterday now find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes error lies in part number two so we will use hadn't not hasn't it should be past h a d and apostrophe t okay so hadn't uh, did he tell you why he hadn't come yesterday okay uh, because past perfect tense is used for showing an action uh, happened or completed in the past so we will use this thing no okay? hadn't it was a pleasant four hours drive from Pune to Nashik now find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes error lies in part number two so whenever we you know we are basically form a compound adjective in the form of uh, noun or in the form of a noun like you know uh, 15 foot uh, like this 13 um, inch okay like that so we basically use hyphen uh, in between so here we are actually forming a compound adjective so we will use hyphen here in between these two like four hyphen hour okay so it has become uh, a compound adjective now so four hour drive from Pune to Nasik. So this would be our correct answer here. A senior doctor expressed concern about uh, physicians recommended the vaccine. So find out where exactly the error lies in this question. Yes. Yeah, error lies in part number three. So we will not use definite article though here. So we can simply use a uh, recommended vaccine. Okay. We have discussing all the known mechanisms of uh, physical growth. Now find out where exactly the error lies in this question. Yes, this is the easiest one. So error lies in part number one. So we will use we have been discussing. Okay. Either we have been discussing 
or else we can use we have discussed okay uh, otherwise this is uh, not the appropriate use no we cannot simply use uh, discussing after have after have uh, third form of the verb should be placed okay so let us move children enjoy listening to ghost stories especially on halloween night now find out where exactly the error lies okay yeah error lies in part number three so it should be on the okay so definite article the should be placed here because we are talking about a specific night that is halloween night you know there is uh, a story uh, on this night because you know the 31st 31st of october uh, this date is being celebrated in us canada britain okay uh, especially uh, this date is known by halloween night why so because in the past uh, it was believed that uh, you know dead people appeared from their graves and uh, yeah this is actually fearful but uh, children from those countries like us canada and britain they were you know um, they dressed like uh, ghosts and witches and uh, hence um, you know they just uh, remember this night as uh, the halloween night yeah it is uh, really scareful and terrifying i am a little bit scared now so let us move question number 209 i have many works to do now find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes error lies in part number three so we must use a lot you know a lot of uh, work a lot of work to do or we can say much work much work or we can also use lots of work okay instead of uh, many because work is uh, uncountable so many uh, cannot be uh, agreed with uh, any uncountable noun many actually agrees with countable noun okay so better we will use uh, out of these four you know three options we can use a lot of work or much work or lots of work okay so all these uh, three options are there so we can replace many with uh, one of these three options there are so many filth all around the place now find out where exactly the error lies in this question yes yeah error lies in part number one so it should be much okay so filth is uncountable in nature so we cannot use uh, many uh, for uncountable noun okay filth means you know which is dot no or full of uh, uncleanness like that that was it for today's lesson guys and thank you so much for watching this video please hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe us and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video so see you in the next tutorials till then take care bye bye